Ariane Bogan is a senior lecturer in French and politics at the University of Northumbria. She joins us from Newcastle here in the United Kingdom. Ariane, welcome to the program. What stood really? out for you in the first round? And uh, looking ahead to the second round, after those results, what are you thinking is going to be most important? Okay, so what really struck me in the first round is the end of an era. Because, you know, for decades, France was a, a bipolar system where you had the mainstream left versus the mainstream right. They have been destroyed. If you look at the Republican right, if you look at the Socialist Party, together they have barely 5%. So what we have instead is a tripartition of the French uh, party system. We have a big centre with Macron, and then we have no moderate opposition because we have the far-right bloc and the radical left. So to me, that really struck me. I expected uh, the Republican right to do badly, but I never expected them to be below 5%. So the, the result itself was not unexpected. We've been kind of, you know, everyone predicted a rematch for the past five years, really. So that wasn't uh, unexpected. But the, uh, the, the, the the political system, the old politi politician, sorry, the old political system being destroyed, that really uh, struck me. Now, for the second round, uh, it's going to be tight. Marine Le Pen does have a chance because the situation is not the same as in 17. In 17, Macron was a new, it was a newcomer. Uh, nobody really knew much about him. A lot of people gave him the benefit of the doubt. This time is the incumbent. We've had five years of Macron and Le Pen will, it will be much easier for her to activate the anti-Macron feeling. Many people in France uh, were left uh, angry, um, disappointed, dis dissatisfied with Macron, so she will try to activate this. I think it will really uh, come down to, first of all, the debate, the second round debate. It was a car crash for her uh, last time round. She did really badly. Will she do better this time? But the main thing, the main factor for me is going to be abstention, and in particular, abstention on the left. If many voters on the left decide that they don't want Macron or Le Pen and choose to abstain, she will have a chance. So it's much tighter than last time. Uh, at the minute, it looks as if Macron might just sneak in, but abstention is going to be key. Wow, that's really interesting. I mean, while you're talking, we're, we're seeing pictures of uh, Emmanuel Macron and Calvin uh, campaigning there near Calais. And he admitted that he kind of didn't do enough campaigning for the first round because he was concentrating yeah. on trying to find some sort of resolution to the conflict in Ukraine. And now he's going to go full out for the next two weeks. But with you saying that if the left abstain because they don't want Macron or Le Pen, I was going to ask you if you think Macron might be pushed a little bit further to the right because of Le Pen and Eric Zemmour's relative success as well. I mean, but well, now I'm thinking that, hold on, if Macron tries to go a little bit to the left and make some kind of appeasement with the left, might that not benefit him? Will he do either of those, do you think? Uh, he will have to go to the left this time. And we've already seen it uh, in, in his speech yesterday. He, he started talking about social justice. He started talking about, you know, social issues. That's where his, his reserve of votes are. He has to try and get some of those voters who voted for Mélenchon. And let's not forget that amongst the people who voted for Mélenchon, many of them voted for him not because they w wanted him to be president, but because they wanted a, a, a left-wing candidate in the second round. This is where he has to focus. His first round campaign was terrible. The main message that people retained was that we have to work longer that's not enough, that's not aspirational, that's not inspiring. So he has to move towards the left and to give the left reason to vote for him. That's where a reserve a vote uh, is. Ariane, really, really interesting. I hope you'll come back over the course of the next couple of weeks before <laughs> that second round, because there's so much more to say, isn't there? Ariane Bogan yes. in Newcastle.